and a very warm welcome to my channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news. It's an insult. Meghan and Harry dissing the Queen and Prince Philip. The rebellious royals Prince Harry and Meghan Markle embraced their new life in America in the worst possible way. After moving to Los Angeles this spring during the early days of the coronavirus epidemic, they crave attention as they ventured out into volunteer work, giving some virtual hypocrisy speeches and performing their fake philanthropic initiatives at their makeshift home, a vast Tuscan mansion that belongs to Hollywood star Tyler Perry. However, as we reported in the previous video, they run the risk of becoming broken up and homeless. According to a source, they are also silently canceling their plans to return home again for a visit. Meghan and Harry, a source told In Touch, despite the Queen's invitation, will not return to England in early August to meet Her Majesty and stay with the royal family at her Balmoral estate in Scotland. The source says, not anymore. More than four months after leaving Britain following their contentious decision to step down as senior members of the royal family, Meghan and Harry have abruptly cancelled plans to see Queen Elizabeth II this summer. Tensions with the family are still so high that they've decided to stay put in Los Angeles. Plus, it just came out in Meghan's lawsuit against a British tabloid that she felt unprotected by the royal family. In addition, the new biography about them, Finding Freedom, which they reportedly cooperated with, does not paint the royal family in a good light. It is true that Meghan and Harry contributed to the book, so to go back right now for a summer vacation would be very awkward, says the source. The couple's excuse? COVID-19, claims the source. They didn't even call, which is rude. They wrote a terse email saying it's just not the right time to travel. But cancelling on Her Majesty and Prince Philip, who turned 99, hasn't gone down well, says the source. It's an insult. They're dissing the Queen. Harry and Meghan's no-show marks the end of an era for Harry and his brother, Prince William. William and wife Kate Middleton, both 38, have been staying at their country home, Admiral Hall, in Norfolk, England, but reportedly have plans to reunite with the Queen in Scotland after five months apart during the lockdown. William and Harry have spent a few weeks together every summer for the last three decades at Balmoral, says the source. This is a sad break with tradition. It also means Meghan and Harry's son Archie, 15 months, is missing out on things like swimming and playing in the fields with cousins Prince George, 7, Princess Charlotte, 5, and Prince Louis, 2. Their mom Kate wasn't going to stop Meghan from coming despite their history. Kate is really taking the high road because she has every reason to be angrier than ever with Meghan right now because of the biography, says a source. Indeed, Finding Freedom claims that Kate and William didn't visit them for 10 months when the Sussexes were living in Oxfordshire, and that when Kate and Megan set out on a shopping expedition one day, Kate ditched Megan and drove off in her Range Rover. The fact that Harry and Megan aren't going to Balmoral is very sad, says the source. Harry may not have much more time to spend with his grandparents given their age. There comes the point when you just have to bury the hatchet and move on. Meanwhile, in order to conceal being kicked out of the $18 million mansion by Tyler Perry for they couldn't afford Perry's monstrous rent, also, as not making money to support their deluded lifestyle, Sussex's PR squad released news Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been secretly living in a Santa Barbara family home for six weeks, ditching Tyler Perry's 18-bedroom Beverly Hills mansion because it's not Harry's style. This report makes the very ridiculous point that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have secretly bought a private family home in Santa Barbara, ditching Tyler Perry's 12-bedroom Beverly Hills mansion for considerable privacy. They have been living in the upscale California community for six weeks. According to an unnamed source, Harry and Meghan have been quietly living in their own home in Santa Barbara since early July. User Murky Meg has mocked them by posting a status on Twitter. I wonder if they've paid off fraud more yet. And a fan retweeted, so is it true that they live in the same neighborhood as Adele? It was reported they are new BFFs because they live five minutes apart and enjoy Pilates together. Not even a week after Prince William was seen boarding a low-budget airline with his family and carrying his own bags. Now they come with this bullshit on the book to save face. So many lies, hard to keep up. As I reported that Tyler Perry was out of patience with them in the previous video, and Megan's PR machine turned into fake news like this, they have thought about this carefully and researched it well, 
This is the place where they plan to be happy, make good friends, and bring up Archie, giving him the chance to play with other children his age. While it was a nice favor to them at a very difficult time, Tyler Perry's house with 18 bedrooms isn't Harry's style. Yes, he grew up in royalty in the halls of Buckingham Palace, but he prefers more intimate homes with character, the source shared. However, the fans continue to be skeptical. It said, They cannot afford Oprah's area in Santa Barbara. They went to one of the smaller known areas. Besides, if they're out of Tyler Perry's house, that means they are now paying for their own security. Where are they getting this money from? Did Harry deplete his savings? Not yet, because they are paying £18,000 per month rent, plus the renovation costs are amortized. Santa Barbara is in its price range between 5 to $10 million. I wonder who paid for it. Look who is house hunting. Back to page 6's Imagine report, it said, They are not house guests of Oprah or anyone else. They bought this home themselves. This is where they want to continue their lives after leaving the UK. This is the first home either of them has ever owned. It has been a very special time for them, as a couple and as a family, to have complete privacy for six weeks since they moved in. They intend to put down their roots in this house and the quiet community, which has considerable privacy. This is where they want to bring Archie up, where they hope he can have as normal a life as possible. I love how they say Harry and Meghan bought a house with a load of bullshit. Try saying us as the British taxpayer bought them a house and don't be silly. They will never pay that debt back. Aren't they poor now because without that 5% income from the public purse, they can't afford it on the 95% income Charles gives them. So aren't they paying it back in the lowest possible installments so that they can stay there if they ever return to the UK? Plus, if the news is true, I just say if, that is rude house guests. Tyler Perry might feel a bit put out that Harry didn't like his house. The whole privacy thing is a joke now that they've shared every cringeworthy detail of their lives in their book, e.g. we really didn't need to know that Meghan Markle relieves herself in the bushes. It's so funny, they act as if they are President of the United States with all their demands for privacy. I have not seen any Hollywood stars or US billionaires who demand such privacy and go off on people taking pictures of them. They act like Archie is the golden goose, and since day one, Megan is all like, I can't serve my child up on a silver platter. They can't take pics. I can't say who the godparents are. We can't have pics of the christening. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, take your British taxpayer money and move along. Everything you have, Megan, is because of British taxpayers and Diana. You got your hooks in good. Harry, you should be ashamed. Meanwhile, in the latest news, biography claims... Senior courtiers were left spitting into their morning tea when they saw Meghan Markle's New York baby shower had turned into a media circus besieged by paparazzi. Meghan called the pops and informed the press about this trip. She always wanted to get popped and be famous. She was living her little Hollywood dream. Last year, Meghan provoked an outcry when she flew by private jet to the US for a five-day baby shower celebration. Around 20 friends attended, including Serena Williams and Amal Clooney. It apparently left senior courtiers spitting out their morning tea when pictures of the luxurious affair emerged. Megan's lavish $500,000 New York baby shower left palace aides horrified. The source revealed the whole thing was flashy, vulgar, and ostentatious, made worse by her appearance the previous week as some sort of anti-poverty gala. Tone deaf and very Marie Antoinette, as usual, and stinking of hypocrisy. It reads, senior courtiers back in the UK were spitting out their morning tea when they saw her lavish baby shower thrown by friends turn into a media circus, with what looked like carefully stage-managed paparazzi walk of the Duchess in big black sunglasses from her hotel to her car and a laundry list of insider party details reported by US press. It's fair to say that the optics of the so flashy shower did not go down well with certain individuals at the palace, a senior aide revealed. It continues, Megan was often criticized for being too Hollywood, meaning too flashy. She was living the life she had only ever dreamed of. Before meeting Harry, her lifestyle was pretty much average. She showed her greed and pretentiousness very quickly, especially for the reserved aesthetic of the monarchy. A source told the authors, I think a few people that had defended her over the months felt a little disappointed. And you? What do you think about Meghan Markle? Please leave your opinion for me below in the comments section and we can discuss together.
If you loved my video, remember to like and share it for anyone you think might also be interested. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more news from the royal family. By me, now, goodbye, and see you in the next video. Meghan used to speak religious ethics, but she herself was always bound by self-pity and morality. Unfortunately for that pretty face, that intelligence does not have. Your personality is distorted, but you just like someone who loves you. The family that Meghan also gave up, good friends she also turned her face, do not think that is to show off, change it. If you find it difficult to live, find some good quotes about fake life and learn. Meghan has apologized many times, but the apology of a traitor was never valid because, after all, trust was broken.